Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventure Aliens. I am the DOS man. And apparently I am retarded. Oh my gosh. Oh. Maybe I'm just too stupid for this kind of game. Hey buddy, sit on the sofa. Wait, where's the... There we go. Oh, okay. This is very crazy. Like, um, it's ridiculous how stupid I am. Okay. Oh, you see that man over there. Well, I'm sure he's asking about me. Well, I'd say so. The man besides a good looking woman? Well, as you can see, staying at the hotel. I've got to do something quick. Well, I'm not allowed to reveal information about our guest, sir. But since he's not a guest, uh, well, I guess I told you what you don't want to know. I wonder. What, uh, woman? Yeah, that wasn't me you're looking for. Well, I can see it in your eyes. In your smile, you're all I ever wanted. You're cute, you're astonishing. But I. Oh, nothing. Keep your eyes open. American, we go for vanilla scent fine cigarette. Uh, I'm not sure he do have to pass the front door. And I do enjoy the cigarettes, feminine cigarettes, so yeah. Uh, he, let's go do that, let's go have a cigarette. Yeah, team morale, he, he, good. Uh, uh, it brought us together as mates. Oh, I crave for cigarette. Oh, what you're really craving for? Me crave your big, strong muscles. Oh, oh, scary. Oh. My dear, important matters force me to leave your company. I understand. You must be a very busy man making out around a woman you meet. For you, all the time in the world wouldn't be enough. What a charming you man you are, Mr. Chet. Chet Gaspay. Drop by the Black Orchid sometime. Yeah, sometime. I shouldn't linger around too much. Boop. 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 Hello again, sir. Welcome to the Blackstone Hotel, sir. It's a real pleasure to see you. How may I help you? Hello, my dear fellow. Uh, I'm here to see Mrs. Thompson. 70, please. She's my biggest fan. Well, Mrs. Thompson didn't tell us she was expecting someone. It's a surprise. <laughs> That's so nice of you. But it's impossible for two clients to have club kind of businesses. They have to tell us first. Uh, but I have a written note. I see. Call her baby. I'm sure Mrs. Thompson is still up at this late hour. I'm sure she'll be delighted to know me. Anyway, Mr. Mr. Chet, Casper, yeah, baby. I play the trumpet at the Black Orchid because I'm so cool. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Thompson. I'm so sorry to stop you at this time of night. What is that, you donkey? You interrupt me at a very crucial moment. The last episode of eternity. Cynthia's going to tell Brenton. My apologies, madam, but there's a gentleman here. His name is Mr. Gasbag, and... Oh, God, tell us here, oh, dear. I was expecting him to die, oh, dear. Where are my trousers? And all the women have that sound, that voice. Why didn't you say that first, you moron? I'm sure of this time, my dear madam. Tell the two of Mr. Gasman, I'll see him in half an hour, you damn duck. Hi, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> he ran his ass up. There we go, four charges for this. I miss my friends. Such a bad taste makes my eyes fill with tears. Blood tears, I can't stand it anymore. Wait, you should have a French accent. Maybe I was wrong. See, I'm not gone. It seems really stupid. Stupid enough to lose his fast as notes. Anyway, I shall wait a while more. Uh, 
gas mask has definitely no gas for the six floors. Alright. Oh, I should have taken the elevator. Your game was saved. Well, thank you. Huh? This gives me a chance. I'll just put me straight to the. Ah. Oh my god, 
I am one with darkness. Honestly, I don't know how he didn't see me there.
I need to write a name on my... Can I just go? spent a thousand years playing in the closet like an idiot and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see Vivian in the next video and I'll see you as well goodbye